Okay, Christina, here's the video that I promised. Um, here is the program right here. It's called Ulead Photo Express. I always click on that and I always click on paint. So once the paint's on, put that down. So I go into photo, click photo, gives you options. Then up to file, and this is to get the picture that I want, so it's already open. Let's see, so that's the photo that I want. Now I go to adjust and transform, and I'm going to make it smaller. So we've made it smaller. I'm going to bring right here and then I'm going to put it to actual size. And that's by going to view and actual view. That's the actual view. I'm going to flip it around. And there it is. Um, now I'm going to go to an option in paint. And up here it's called sharpen. Now this is going to blur the face. Now I'm going to put it to, let's see, the most blurriest and the most lightest in power. So just to make sure if you want it big and if you want it small. Now I'm going to smooth the edges. Everything's going to be smooth. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so smoothing is all done. Now, this is how I make it lighter. I go to adjust. I go to balance and color. And you got different shades here, more of a green, more of a, a very red and blues, blues up there. So what I do is I go to advance. And then here I can put however much I need. Like here, let's say I go lots of red, then to even it out. Now, this is going to be really light, so then I go to apply, click apply at the bottom, and it becomes lighter. Now, I don't necessarily want it to be that light, but uh, do you see how I move it? And it gets even more brighter. And if I were to click apply, it would go even more brighter, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to click back. Now, say I keep Now let's say I decide to keep it like that, but I want more of a blue tint. I'd click right here. It's blue, double click it, and it turns bluish. Now, I'm going to go back and do that. See that? I think got the blue. Or I also like using this. It's called very blue green. I like using that too. But it just looks nice on. Now, I can also go into effects, and it gives me the option of sharpening. Now that's sharpen, and I click the first one, make it just a little bit sharper. And that's actually about it for that. Now this is just a regular touch up and fixing the, the background, or just fixing my face and everything, taking off flaws, and you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but everything So everything looks smooth. Now, if I wanted to, I could go into Artist. And this is meanwhile still in the effects. I'm going to Artist. Turn this black and white. And what I do to get color in there is I go to Paint. And I go to Brush. And I go to Airbrush. Now I'm going to airbrush the color in. I'm just going to choose a color. Okay. 
Okay, we'll say we're going to choose that color. And then I'm going to zoom in. to my lips and then I'm gonna put the oh, I'm, sure. I'm gonna put the color in. Okay so now we're going to color it in. Just gonna go around the sides. It's about the same pink that I had on. I'm gonna add some red. Get like a reddish tone, and it's all just of like um, like a just an airbrushing in. Now, um, here's the actual view, and then we're gonna do the eyes a little bit. Okay, just do the eyeshadow, just kind of line it in, and let's see, you can also do um. Darken the eyes. Okay, that's doing the. Okay, that's just doing a thicker eyeliner. Sometimes I make my eyes light, so like I'll just get some white or green or something. You can do it like any color and. Kind of, it's just airbrushing it all in. There's the actual view right there. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the other eye. Oops, it's a little too dark. And over here, that's how strong you want it to be. You want it to be very light, so. Go ahead and do that. And we'll do the eyeliner on this side. Okay, so now we're done with the eye. Now I'm going to go to actual view. And there's the actual view right there. Now I'm going to make that bigger, softer, and put in some blush. a little bit. Not too much. And I'm going to to adjust to balance color. And this is back to where we can change the color. Now I'm going to move this up a little bit. Um, let's see. Say I wanted it to go to that green again. There we go. It goes to like a green. And when I move it, it changes the colors again, so I could choose like a this very purple, which would change it to that. So by moving this again, we get a different color. So say I'll put a green tint on there. Let me show that again. In the green. Okay. And now I want to make this a little lighter, so I'm going to go to advanced mode and make it a little lighter. And it shows you a little preview of what it will look like. Okay, and I click apply. And there we go. So when I move it, it updates this part and it makes it that color, which would be even more brighter, but I don't really, well, let's see what we can use that one. And a blue, okay, cool. And they like this look. Now see, the thing is, I've made some sort of formula now where I can't exactly reproduce this exactly the same again. I just go by memory. And how I save it is I click on the picture, I copy it, I go into paint, here's my last picture, Here's the one I edited again. I add that in, and I go and I go into file and save as picture. Okay, and then I just save it. Save it into file, and that's about it.